welcome to the 2019 NCAA Worcester Regional Press Conference for Game 4 between Rochester and Case Western Reserve University. With us from Case Western Reserve is Head Coach Matt Englander and Student Athletes Rocco Ma and Matt Levine. We'll begin with an opening statement from Coach Englander and then open the floor for questions. Opening statement. Uh, it was a fun one. I'm really proud of how our guys are approaching the game right now. I think, um, uh, you know, we're playing as a unit and, and kind of just the game's moving slow. And I, I think in this time of year, it's hard for that to happen sometimes. It can be, um, uh, you can get kind of spin out of control on you. And I think our guys are doing a pretty good job of, of you know, keeping the pace the way we want it. Um, I guess I'll start, you know, Matt and Rocco. Uh, Matt, you're wearing a Spartan helmet. Rocco, you're wearing a chain before we go any further. Can you tell us a little bit about what those two mean? Sure. The, uh, the helmet goes to the uh, player of the game, so coach nominated me for it, so that is why I'm wearing it. Uh, this is the donk chain, which goes to a player that hits a home run, and I get to wear this until the next guy hits a home run. So. Rocco, kind of a well-balanced approach. What was your game plan going into today's game? Did a little bit of everything and did it well. Yeah, I'm just uh, I've just been looking for pitches over the plate that I think I can I can drive. I'm trying to stay on top of the ball and um, not get too much air under it. And it's been working so far this this weekend. So that Matt really kept Rochester off balance. What was your game plan? That what were you looking to do going in? Sure. Um, I had a few bad starts recently, so basically I just wanted to clear my head and get ahead in the count early. That's exactly what I did. So. Hi, Coach. I'm Tom Rice from the Daily Record here at Worcester, and I wanted to ask you about a couple different things. Uh, first of all, if Worcester can get through this next game, then you'd be playing Worcester tomorrow. And going back uh, with Pit, uh, Coach Petterini, what? How are you and, and Coach Petterini alike, and what you do and your philosophies and things like that? What did you learn from him? I learned a lot from him. You know, Coach P is outstanding at, at preparing his players. Um, you know, leaving no stones unturned. He's, he's hyper intense. You know, our styles can be different sometimes, but I think in the way that we see things can be very similar. I learned I learned quite a bit from him. You know, both when I was playing for him and then also coaching with him. Just you know, being pushed, but then also observing and then and, and uh, you know, kind of soaking up everything he does. He's easy to misunderstand. You know, because he can he can yell and he can be abrasive, and that's just not who he is. Um, you know, so him and I are similar in more ways than people might realize. Um, I learned quite a bit from him. He's an outstanding coach, obviously. How special would it be if you guys are on the field together tomorrow? Um, I could care less, quite frankly. We're trying to win a, win a tournament. Um, him and I are close friends. I love him to death. Um, they've got another game to play in a few minutes here. Um, it's hard to look forward to something that, you know, he's not going to pitch against me. I'm not going to pitch to him. You know, I think our players are going to kind of dictate what happens tomorrow. In a lot of ways, it'll be out of our hands. Um, you know, it's it's a special thing whenever we play them, but at the same time, I mean, my head's going to be elsewhere. There's other business to take care of, yeah. That's hey, right. uh, let me ask you one thing about Nick Denovi. I, I, uh, I've been up here about three years now, so I never saw him pitch in high school, but I used to coach softball at the high school in Florida oh, wow. where he played. Mm -hmm. And so I'm kind of curious about how you found out about Nick and if you could talk about him a little bit and what he's done for you this year. Well, the same way we found Matt. Matt's from... Uh, Maybe Boca, 150 miles uh, straight east of him in Boca Raton. Yeah, yeah. we saw him at, uh, and we saw Rocco at the same thing at a at a, a showcase that's uh, for really smart kids, and they happen to be really smart and good at baseball. And so we saw him at those and, and um, recruited him from there. You know, and Case is a great place. You know, the school attracts kids from all over the country, all over the world, really. And uh, we get some really bright kids that, that are hardworking and good people. So they fit the academic profile, but more importantly, they fit our character profile too. As far as Nick goes, I mean, for him to come in and as a freshman have five complete games, he pitched great yesterday. I mean, is, how does he do that as you know, as a young pitcher like that? Well, you know, guys from Florida are, are just as old as freshmen as the guys are maybe from Ohio, but they've probably thrown twice as many games. And uh, especially, you know, last year as a senior in high school, I know Nick in Florida they play one game a week in their playoffs, their, their state playoffs, and he just kept winning through like five or six he games and he just kept winning in, in the Florida State Tournament. So he's a kid that knows how to pitch in big games, he knows how to finish games, and uh, you know, similar to Matt, I mean these guys have, have been successful for a long time on the mound and just have so much experience under their belts that it's tough to rattle them, you know, it's tough to get them out. 
Hey man, I don't know what's scarier, you or that fake uh, coyote, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but coyote. did you know Nick at all when you were in high school? Did no, you I didn't know. Did you or anything? No. He was on the West Coast, I'm on the East Coast, so. Okay. I mean, you know, you're a young guy too, you're a sophomore? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, to come in and, and be successful in this particular program, you know, how, how's that work with young pitchers? I mean, what makes the difference like that? Uh, well, the first job is them recruiting us, so that's that. But uh, we have a great uh, pitching coach in Nick Callahan, so he's taught me a lot, made me adjust a lot. My high school coach wasn't that great. I had a good uh, travel travel program back home, but uh, besides that, Nick's, Nick's mentored me a lot. And yeah, that's where I've learned it all from. So. All right, thank you, gentlemen. This concludes our press conference for game four of the 2019 Worcester Regional.